Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll walk you through step by step on how to change out the battery on your Lenovo Yoga laptop. If your battery is not holding the charge, give an example, if you fully charge the battery at 100%, and if you remove the charger, the battery only lasted you less than an hour, then more likely you need to change out the battery. Or if you feel like the touchpad, the trackpad is not clickable, having hard time to click, then that is also indicate the battery is pushing from the bottom up, meaning that the battery is pushing the trackpad, which is swollen, like the battery is getting fat and pushing it from the inside out. So those are the indicator that you might want to consider changing out the battery. All right, so the first thing we like to do is to identify the model here. This is Lenovo Yoga C930. The model is 81C4. Let's go ahead and remove the back cover. The first thing you need to use is a T5 screwdriver, a torque 5, and we will be removing six screws here. The screws are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about mix matching the screws. You just have to remove six of them. Once you have removed all screws, the next step is to go ahead and get yourself a metal prying tool. Something that is skinny enough for you to stick in between that back cover and lift up a little bit so that you have the leverage to hold the back cover and you remove it entirely once you have done that process here you can see the battery and if your battery is like i said swollen or fat or there's a lump on it then more likely you just need to change out the battery already okay do not use a broken battery now if you're not sure where to find the parts or the battery or the tools go ahead and check out the link in the description below I'll link them where you can click direct you to either Amazon or eBay to buy the tools or the replacement part. So the battery part number here is L17C4PH1. That would be the model number of this battery. The next step is to get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. Let's go ahead and remove four screws. And these four screws are holding on to the battery the Phillips screws are very small so just get a smaller Phillips screwdriver to remove all four screws once you are done with that the next step is to make sure you have uh, make sure to remove this sticky stuff here so the battery is adhesive taped down by this little black tape here so make sure you remove it before you can remove the battery there are two two of them one on each side left and right so let's go ahead and continue removing this as well let's put it to the left and that's how you remove that adhesive double-sided tape now the battery should should come loose at this point and but we still need to disconnect the cable to disconnect i use a plastic prying tool what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to push down that black connector right here so i'm pushing it down the same time i'm pulling the battery as well so push and pull work your way on the left right left right and there you go you just disconnect that the battery okay now this is the entire computer um, i did make a video separately on how to change out the m.2 pretty much it's very straightforward remove the the screw and just swap it out okay so that's that's pretty much it and um regarding about the keyboard i'm not sure if this is replaceable because i need to check uh, looks like it's replaceable keyboard. 
yeah looks like it's a replaceable keyboard because i do see um, screws that is holding onto the keyboard so this model here is a replaceable keyboard all right but there's nothing in this video we just want to talk about changing out the battery that's what it is and we have done it so far so let's just say pretend this is the new battery that comes in and you're ready to install um, you can just put the four screws in you don't have to put the double-sided tape but if you want to do that you can get yourself a 5 mm rate double-sided tape so this is just a, a double-sided tape that you tape tip it down so technically what you want to do is you want to tape it down on the battery like so okay and have a little bit room here So that you know for the next time if you need to change the battery you know which double-sided tape way to pull them right so just have it down i think with the four screws it is more than enough to hold on to the battery but if you want to make a uh, have a double-sided tape to tape it down by all means, you can get that double-sided tape. Um, I'll link them in the description below again, just to notify you where to buy them from. And there you have it. So that should be able to tape it down and make sure you have your four screws. Let's put it back in. Okay, once you have all the four screws installed, make sure the connector is pushed in all the way in. Get your back cover. Slide it in from the top. Make sure it's pushed all the way in. Press it down. And finish up by putting the six screws. T5, six screws. Let's push it back in. You might have to push the back cover all the way in to sit properly before you install the uh, before you putting the screws back in. All right, so um, that's pretty much it. Not much. This it is not a difficult process. You just need to have the right tools um, with the replacement battery, and the process is should be less than ten minutes to do. But if this is your first time doing a computer repair stuff, then more likely you need to, you know, set aside for like 10, 15 minutes for you to do it. But like I said, it's pretty straightforward. Um, it's not that difficult to do. And yeah, so that should be it. So again, if you find the video is helpful and what I'm asking is just a small return from you. If you can just give me a like or smash the like button, um, I'll be very appreciate you for doing that and if you have any question regarding about the uh, computer stuff like computer repair uh, broken computers comment below i do reach a comment and um, i'm more than happy to answer any of the computer questions that you have um, so that i try to help you guys out here okay so again um, if you haven't subscribed feel free to click the subscribe button and the notification bell uh, every time I make a new video, you get to get to watch it. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll try to I'll try to make a video about the keyboard replacement. I know that my keyboard here has missing arrow key, top, bottom, F one, something else right there is missing. So um, yeah, uh, hopefully I can find a keyboard replacement part. Then I'll make a separate video for that. But until now, I do not have the keyboard, so just leave it as this, and it is still a working computer. So, 
Thanks for watching, thanks for liking the video, and thanks for subscribing. Wish you all the best, good luck, bye now.